is Kate. I'm one of the speech language pathologists here at OSNS. And I want to talk to you today about how to use puzzles to encourage communication in children. I really like using puzzles because they are really adaptable for different ages and stages. And we like to think in stages when we're thinking about children, not necessarily chronological age. So if you're looking at very young children or very early um, stage of fine motor development or communication development, I like to use puzzles like this have big knobs that are easy to grab, and usually very simple pictures as well. The other nice thing about these big peg puzzles is that you often see they have the pictures on the puzzle board as well, so you can work on matching and well as working on vocabulary. And puzzles like this are really nice to work on simple single words or short phrases together. Um, always remember to ask your child questions that involve choices as opposed to yes or no questions to encourage language or to give them directions and have them give you a piece of the puzzle. So if I were using this puzzle, for instance, with a child, I would start by taking out all the pieces, putting them beside me, and then saying, hmm, look at all these animals. Can you show me the pig? Or can you pass me the pig? Or which one would you like? Um, and as you have older children, we can start to use puzzles that are a little bit more complex. So this one here still does have knobs on it, but you can see they're a bit smaller knobs. Um, and when we're describing these objects in these puzzles, we have to use a little bit more language. We can't just say cow or sheep because these are all different types of vehicles. So we might have to say, I want the green motorcycle or I want the orange car instead of just car. Um, and again, I would still use this in a very simple way to encourage simple questions choice making, requesting, and vocabulary. The last puzzle I have to show you today uh, is this fun sound puzzle. It has smaller pegs on it, still pegs, but smaller ones, good for bigger hands. And this one is a lot of fun for children who might not, not otherwise be too interested in puzzles, just matching shapes. Isn't that motivating for everyone? Um, so this one makes some noise. If you put the cow in, the cow says moo. Um, so these ones can be a lot more fun. Um, we can work on animal noises as well. Again, working on choices, making requests, and then naming the different animals on the puzzle. I always like to remind parents when you're asking your child questions, we don't want it to feel like a test. So we're not trying to say, where's the cow, where's the sheep, give me the sheep, give me the cow, but questions that your child can answer given their language level and also would be interested in answering. So that's how I often use puzzles in speech therapy sessions, and I hope you had fun with them.